So today we are back in here working on the Volvo. Um, I've got a service engine service required fault, I believe is what it's called, um, and it's generic. I can't I can't look it up on the thing. I got a buddy actually coming over, and we're going to run a code reader, put an actual code reader on it, and maybe that will give us uh, some more information. But I think it's um, something to do with with uh, vacuum. So. What I'm going to try today is makeshift uh, smoke machine. We're going to look for a vacuum leak with some smoke. So I ran to Dollar General, picked up some rubber gloves. What we're going to do is we're going to put this onto the intake and with a hose, some cigars. Oh. So we're trying to make this job as cheap as possible. So the gloves cost me three bucks. Cigars, two for 99 cents. So we're four dollars in. And I've got some hose that I've already had. We're gonna try using that. So right now we're looking at this being a four dollar, four dollar repair. Um, if you got rubber gloves already at the house and you're already a smoker, then this is a free, free job. All right, so ideally you would take the mass airflow sensor off of the intake tube. I don't, I can't get this thing to come off of there. So we're gonna blow it through the mass airflow sensor. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything, but put your rubber glove on there. I think I'm gonna go grab, maybe go grab a rubber band or something and run around there to hold that on there. Cut one of these fingertips off. So we have an inlet. So then put your rubber glove hose or hose in your rubber glove like that actually I think I might cut this hose a little shorter so the goal here is to just blow smoke in I can hear it escaping somewhere already so I know I've got a good leak well, I am not a smoker, but Whew. God, I used to smoke a long time ago. That's rough. All right, so disgusting so the way this is supposed to work is you fill your system with smoke and then wherever the leak is at you'll be able to see it from the smoke If you're not a smoker, this is really disgusting. I did watch some guys using um, like a mason jar and making a top with a, a soldering iron. That was a pretty cool concept. Not sure why I thought this was a good idea. What's sucking is I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing anything. Thought that maybe the intercooler may have a hole in it. Yeah, you because know, my wife did just wreck it. I don't see anything coming out from down there. I'm not seeing anything coming in. You know, I was hoping one of these lines right here would be showing leaking. 
but nothing. I got a haze of smoke in the garage now. right there. Or is it coming from underneath? I think it might be coming from underneath the intake manifold. All right, that's really not what I want to see because now it's underneath the intake plenum. Um, whew, getting lightheaded from that cigar. Um, I'm gonna dig into this a little bit more and see what the hell's going on, see if I can figure out where it's at. So the, the tube, the, I had the intercooler tube off of this side here and it's connected under here to the throttle body, I think maybe. I'd have to take all this crap apart to see. Um, don't really want to, but I think because maybe I had this side off, it might have loosened it up on this side. This The cigar trick worked. Um, pushing smoke through the system allowed me to pinpoint the massive leak, which was at the throttle body underneath the intake uh, plenum. So I push smoke. I've got everything put back together. I've got a headache from that cigar, so I'm gonna have to go inside and sit down and relax for a little bit. Pushing smoke through here, it goes through turbo in the back, comes up through this tube, through this connection here into the intercooler, through the intercooler, and then comes back through this uh, intake tube, which goes to the throttle body underneath here. I'm getting smoke coming up through here and found that the tube this tube down here was uh not fully seated up underneath there. excuse me up underneath there um so i got it pushed up through there i was able to blow smoke through here again after i figured all that out and it held pressure um so then i buttoned everything up we're going to give this thing a test run and and see uh see if it fixed a couple of the issues i still am getting the um a code for the fan as well i did have to put or when i put the new fan in here i couldn't find the same model year in the junkyard so i went i got a 2004 fan in here and the um so the computer on this fan is a little different than the computer on that fan and i think that's why it's throwing a code my buddy kyle come by and hooked up his snap onto it and i got a fan controller code i've got a um exhaust code which i've had for a while i can't figure out why it's happening um i got a turbo controller code and then a mass air flow sensor code and i think the mass air um i'll show you the three the four codes here i think that is because of the the, uh, the vacuum leak, the bad vacuum leak, that's what the turbo controller is. Um, it's not seeing any any boost, but I think I'm ready to try it. I'm ready to see. One, I would love for it to get rid of the whistle that it's had when in boost. I think that might have been part of the the um, the throttle body being a little loose. So let's uh, let's see. So since the wife. Ran into something oh, a couple weeks ago. I had to replace the radiator. And I probably could have done the 
AC condenser and the intercooler. I figured the intercooler might have sprung a leak or something, but um, so far, oh yeah, I think I got rid of the whistle too. Ooh, the wife's gonna like that. The whistle was very, very annoying. But now, oh yeah, we, <laughs> this is a whole new car. She's gonna, she's gonna like that. It feels like a turbo car now. And it doesn't have this annoying whistle that it used to have. Hopefully I didn't just blow a boot off. Oh. Let's uh let's shut the garage door here and uh actually take this thing on a proper instead of just down the street and around the cul-de-sac and back. Spinning tires. I mean, I really hope what I did fixed the issue because right now I've got an ungodly headache from that cigar. I can't, I don't know how I used to smoke. I should have just made the smoke machine like I seen a couple on, uh, on, um, on, on YouTube. Should have went to Harbor Freight, bought the stuff and just made a smoke machine. But I thought I'd be all right using the cigar method. Um, and it worked, it, it absolutely worked. But it's, it's, I'm not feeling real good because of it. All right, let's see. We're getting out on the road here and get her up to about 40 or so. She pulls right through now, buddy. Man, I wish I'd have found that much sooner because I feel like that made, that throttle body made a huge difference. I had a boost leak the whole time or a vacuum leak or boost leak the whole time, so. All right, well, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. Um, what I done, the, the cigar method to look for the, the leaks made a huge difference made me feel like crap but for the car it, it worked out really well um wife is going to be super excited about this i'll be able to hand the car over to her let her start driving us back and forth to work again um so yeah i mean youtube is an amazing thing you if you're watching this you're you're just like me you're looking for a way to fix something um and I'm not afraid to work on things for myself. It saves me a ton of money. If I was to take in this somewhere to have somebody else diagnose this issue, it would probably cost you know, a few hundred dollars at least. And it cost me, uh, what was it, $4? And an upset stomach and a headache, but other than that, so we're out. Or, uh, you know, I never know how to close these things out. So. I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I'm almost back to the house. We're going to clean this, clean the garage up, and then I'm going to relax the rest of the day. So until the next video, we'll see you.